Brady car from Townsville and uh, the Brady sitting in front of me right now is not the Brady I met 10 years ago or so. So who is Brady Cohen right now? Oh mate, a little bit older, um, hopefully a little bit wiser I suppose. Um, pretty busy with work mate, work keeps me honest. Um, we've got a good construction business at home now and um, kitchen business and a little bathroom business as well so I've got many new things and a few pies so that keeps us honest and um, keeps the race team ticking over obviously because being from Townsville I spend a lot of money to come and do this and um, I pride myself on um, good motorbikes and good equipment and um, obviously if you look good, you feel good, you go good is, is my sort of theory. Probably my 15th year, I reckon, in racing and business, so it's all sort of starting. I'm probably one of the older fellas now, I guess, you know, I was always a young pup, but now it's getting a little bit. I'm 35 this year, so hopefully the experience starts to kick in. Obviously, we've, um, we've, we've been on the podium all the time, mate. We've had um, 12 events last season, and we finished on the podium on every one but one, so we're always close, mate. But um, <clears throat> I've uh, spent the money and done the time, and um, I'm just hoping it all comes to fruition. We're getting close. We're, we're getting real close. big thing for you to, to do so, such a good feat but I noticed at the time you had a lot of people in your pit bay whereas now there's a very core group. Um, is that another part of growing up? You sort of Definitely mate, definitely. We've sort of, um, you know, I've got a lot of mates and um, a lot of friends in the sport that um, obviously over a period of 15 years I've become really close mates with. Most of our speedway friends are pretty much brothers, you know, so at the start I had a lot of friends that wanted to help and um, a lot of people that were always there, you know, but it does cloud your judgment and you've got too many people in your ear and too many people telling you what you should be doing or what this did or what that did so it, it has taken a long time and um, a few lessons from my mentors Darren Trelaw and um, my dad Bernie Coppy all the boys that have sort of mentored me along the way just to sort of narrow it back up and um, obviously put the task first and that is just to try and be number one so to do that you've got to do it with a tight group and um, obviously all be on the same page. Touching on that, you look a lot more relaxed and um, I wouldn't say more safe, I'd say more sensible as a rider. You calculate a lot more on the track that I see and it, it pays off all around. I see that your injuries aren't really there anymore, like you had a lot of injuries early on in your career. What was um, probably the most feelings-wise per injury, as in your personal feelings? Not the body, but inside yourself, you went, oh man, this really hurts. Yeah, mate, the, the big one in 08 is obviously the, the, well, it's the biggest thing in my life. Obviously, I died a couple of times in a helicopter and broke my back in three places and my neck in two. and. I was in a wheelchair for six months. Um, I couldn't walk. They said I was never going to walk again. And it took 12 months to the day that I was pretty much back up on my feet. So that was obviously a big learning curve. I have had a couple of smaller ones since then, but same thing, mate. When you're young and I was hungry, you know, like everyone sort of knows what I'm like. I'm a fiery sort of fella, and um, I actually don't like losing at anything I do. So um, anything I do, I want to win at. So whether it's um, golf, ping pong, or speedway. So. Um, I want to go there to win, so, but like I said, with experience and age, I think, you know, my kids have slowed me down a little bit, you know, I look at them and I don't want to get hurt anymore, you know, I don't want to take that risk, but, um, and I think the only thing we put it down is experience, you know, like, um, I'm still as hungry as I ever was, you know, um, by the time I get here, I'm puffed, because it's a big job and we put in a lot of effort, but um, by the time I put my helmet on and I um, fire it up, it, um, it all goes out the window, I'm ready to go.
stuff. Like, I was fortunate for your father, coach everyone knows him as, to teach me about how to commentate and things like that. But I've noticed in the North Queensland scene, people like Bernie Coffey and stuff like that are really prominent. Has that been ever since you were a little kid? Oh, Bernie, I've got photos on um, Bernie's lap when I was uh, three or four years old. Him and Dad used to race together. And um, to be honest with you, I don't think there's a better man in the sport. And I don't just say that because he's helping me out. But um, he will help anybody, you know. If he will give you the shirt off his back, and he's done that for 70 years. <laughs> he's probably not 70, but, uh, mate, ever since I was a kid. And, you know, the Moons, me, Scotty Christopher, you know, Trelaw, everyone. Whenever they come up there, if they needed anything, Bernie was the first one there, you know, like, and um, he's just, he's so passionate about the sport, like, he just gives and gives and gives, and all he wants to do is just see more bikes out there, so, I'm, I'm, I love racing with him, you know, and um, I love racing with Darren and all the rest of it as well, but um, with Bernie, what? it's been good as in, um, you know, like I said, because I've grown up with him and that, and he, he's, he wants more in the sport, he wants he wants more out there, and he wants better, better equipment, faster equipment, he wants us all to go faster, so... Yeah, I think we're on a good thing and we're up ahead. Right, and uh, just quickly touching on your family, I see you've got a great fiance now and uh, a couple of little, little boys and um, you know, your dad's involved and um, everything seems to be awesome on the home front. That must be a really special thing. Yeah, mate, it is. I um, I don't get enough time with them at the moment, obviously, with work and that, where um, I have got a goal with the business as well. Everything I do, I, I set goals and I, I target them to, to be better every day. Like, I, I put a lot of pressure on myself and I obviously just want to succeed at everything I do. But um, we are getting close and I'm really close with business and, like I said, we're close with racing now. So and my family love it and I thank them for letting me do what I do and um, I couldn't do it without them obviously because Jess is at home looking after the boys in Madison. Um, and Now, um, as for racing, what gives you the biggest kick in a race weekend? Is it going fast on the bike or winning or what is it? I think um, lining up beside your mentors and that, you know, your Darren Trelaws and you know, the late Gary Moon and everyone that I've always looked up to, when you line up beside them and, like I said, they're your best mates, but you go beside them and when you can mix it with them, that just is another level because I've idolised those blokes my whole life, you know, and we're finally nearly there and it's to be side by side and brush elbows with the best boats in the world, like, there's no better feeling, like, I, I can't explain it, the adrenaline, the rush, there's no bloody drug or alcohol or anything compared to what you get out of a speedway sidecar. Yeah. Family first, it always is, you know, my mum, my dad, Jeff, the kids, um, mentors, Darren Trelaw, he obviously turned me from being a kid into a man, and a lot of people don't understand that. I've, I've spent a lot of time with Darren as I've developed as a man, and um, a lot of people think he's arrogant and he's different, and he, he is a different man, but he's definitely helped me become who I am today, and I wouldn't be where I am in my racing career without him. Um, as a progressed Gary Moon, you know, because he was always someone that I looked up to as a kid, and he would, same as Bernie, he'd, he'd give me a bike, you know, if, if, if he could, you know, and um, God rest his soul. Um, Bernie Coppy's my latest thing, man, like, I can't thank him enough. This week, him and Kenny Bauer popped over Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday for nine, ten hour days to build this motorbike for me to ride tonight, you know, and they can't even be here tonight, and they were there at my house at 7.30 in the morning, never left till five o'clock in the afternoon and we didn't even get to run the bike. So this is my first run on it and it feels unbelievable. We just had a close race with Darren then. I sort of 
got pushed wide coming into three and I think that um, if that hadn't happened I think um, we would have been on par for a close finish against Darren so I'm excited to see how the next few heats go because um, I think come the final I'm hoping we dialed in and um, we can really stick in. And last of all mate, fire up. Fire up, let's get started.